The Caitlin counter, is Caitlin Clark a viable MVP candidate? Can Caitlin Clark join Candace Parker in winning Rookie of the Year and MVP in the same season? It's the question that began this bi-weekly exercise to analyze Clark's development as a pro and tracking her stats with Parker, the three-time WNBA champion who announced her retirement shortly ahead of Clark's WNBA debut. It wasn't some far-fetched claim, nor is it one now as end-of-season ballots work their way to voters this week. Clark, a near lock for Rookie of the Year, has cemented herself in the MVP conversation, even if winning is a long shot given the competition and the one-of-a-kind manner in which Parker won her Roy X MVP. And Clark could make her candidacy look even better with two games against two-time defending champion Las Vegas this week, though the Aces are without leading MVP candidate A.J.A. Wilson, ankle. The Indiana point guard put together an all-time great rookie resume and continues to smash records. Should she win Roy? she'll become the 14th number one pick to win the award in the league's 28-year history. Only four of them were backcourt players and none was a point guard. If the season ended Monday, she would rank third among all Roy winners in scoring, 19.2, behind Siamon Augustus, 21.9, and A.J.A. Wilson, 20.7, and blow away everyone in assists, 8.5. Tameka Johnson leads all Roy winners at 5.2 APG, the overall rookie leader is Tika Penikiro in 1998, 7.5. Her stats aren't merely impressive for a rookie. They're among the best in the league. She leads in assists and three-pointers made, 111, 3.1 per game, while ranking 8th in scoring, 5th in free throw shooting, 90.7%, and 13th in defensive rebounds, 23rd overall in rebounds. She's even top 25 in steals per game, 1.3, and blocks, 0.8. She not only set the rookie record for point assist double doubles, 12, she broke the overall record set by veteran Courtney Vandersloot in 2017. The stat that will dog her is the pesky turnover average, 5.7 a record she'd rather not possess. The fever offense she leads is the league's best since the Olympic break and she has elevated a young team to the franchise's first playoff appearance since 2016. They aren't merely sliding into the playoffs, they're sitting in the number six seed and could pull off a first round upset. From college to the pros, opposing coaches, and her own, consistently highlight how she makes everyone around her better by putting them in the best positions to succeed. In a battle of most valuable, she clearly belongs. Clark winning MVP was always, and remains, a long shot. Forwards are historically favored in voting, putting her at an immediate disadvantage, and the winners typically helm a team that finishes top two. Wilson, who is poised to smash records despite her team sitting fourth, and Napiasa Collier, whose links are the likely number two seed after a surprisingly successful season, are widely viewed as the strongest contenders with many still pushing for Wilson to win a unanimous vote. Parker, whose Los Angeles Sparks finished fifth in 2008, is one of the outliers. She is one of only four players to win MVP while finishing worse than third in the regular season standings and the most recent to do so. Lauren Jackson, seventh in 2007,